Welcome to IGN Compete and another episode of Port to Esports. My name is Darren Kulinski with the always dashing Max Tompkins. Max, how are you how doing are today? You? I'm doing fantastic, Darren. I'm super excited to talk about Candy Crush of all things. Look, I don't know how long this conversation is going to last. I feel like I could rant a little bit for a while now, but <clears throat> if you haven't heard, Candy Crush is putting on a competition. Uh, anyone who has completed the first 25 levels of Candy Crush can participate uh, and qu try to qualify for this. It all starts on September 23rd. Some of the big draws of it are probably the biggest draw. Khloe Kardashian is hosting and commentating, which she took 15 seconds to even get to in her 27 second <laughs> announcement video. She wanted to talk about her nails, Max. Her nails first. I mean, they were really pretty nails. We're, okay, I, I'll take really your nice word looking. for that. I'll take your word for that. Really? You didn't see them? They were all over the screen. No, I did. I just don't know if we're seeing the same thing. <laughs> I digress. She this said they looked something... edible. They looked yeah, edible. Well, I suppose. This is something from the UK from last year. You had found a very similar competition. And now they're bringing it over to the US. Uh, winner gets a life, not a lifetime, a year long supply of gold bars for in game currency, which I think you had said is something like 50 bars per month. The I UK version said it was 600 bars a month. I, I'm not sure oh, if it's like different okay. because of current. I don't know if it's different because of like currency exchanges or anything like that, but it might be a different amount this time around. But regardless, though, grand prize, it's still the same amount, but maybe just scaled up or down a little bit. I think this is stupid. I think this, <laughs> this is so dumb. The, and the reason that I think that this is dumb, not the competition. More mobile competitions, I think, are great. Mobile gaming is very, very strong in competition in esports. Uh, I think that's cool. I think the prize is one of the most underwhelming things I've seen a while in a long time in esports. And the reason that I say that, Candy Crush has 250 million users per month, which is still very, very good, obviously. They generated $1.19 billion in revenue last year alone. And outside of China, that's the third highest grossing mobile game. They are also the sixth highest grossing mobile game of all time. Why can't they have a prize pool for something like this? Especially if they're pulling in a recognizable name like Khloe Kardashian. I'm really befuddled. I mean, I feel like everyone's uh, first response is going to be that all the money went into Khloe Kardashian. But I, I think there's just so many potential rabbit holes we could go down because we don't really know why, right? And I think one good way to start things off is by having, like, to understand what the, the player base is for something like Candy Crush, right? When you have, you know, someone, you know, with their child waiting inside the dentist's office and they need something to pass the time, I think, you know, something like Candy Crush could be a great avenue. And there's a lot of visibility if it's being, you know, shown off and presented on the app. There's a lot of visibility. And it's one of the few, you know, for a lot of people, maybe one of the few outlets of, like, fun that people can have sometimes, especially day to day, where maybe they would benefit heavily from that, you know, 600 gold bars a month that, you know, we may not see the value in it, but for someone who can't really competitively game all the time and grind for people who can fly across the country or the world, like in, in Berlin, right? Winning 600 gold bars might just be enough for them. Yeah, maybe. But at the same time, you know, you talk about loops and rabbit holes and legal restrictions and things like that. I mean, King, who develops this game, is backed by Activision Blizzard. They're part of that uh, network of developers. And I just don't see that that is a viable reason as to why you wouldn't put some sort of prize pool behind this my theory would be that this is actually more of a play to get people back into the game who have lapsed as well as get a few new more new players rather than you know putting a big prize pool around this and even putting a big production value around this i mean the announcement video was a vertical video from chloe kardashian where she just kind of rambles on for a few seconds before actually talking about it and like it really just feels like an afterthought rather than anything that they would put on, uh, you know, with a professional level or at least some sort of production value behind it. So, I mean, we don't even know if it's going to be broadcast. All we know is the last no, chance don't. qualifier, like the qualifier starts September 23rd and they go on for a week or two and, and that's kind of it. And it just feels so lazy, especially when 
mobile esports have a thriving market. You look at things like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile, those have found incredible uh, you know, amounts of success. Uh, the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship this year, $2 million prize pool um, sometime in December. Last year, it was supposed to be uh, here in Los Angeles. Uh, don't know word on where it's going to be yet. Uh, but I mean, again, Call of Duty is an Activision Blizzard uh, property, and they're able to put together something here. I know that's a circuit and that's a league and that's seasons, but at the very least, I think it would be fun to put some sort of monetary value on, on something like this. I think it's hard to put a monetary value on Candy Crush, right? I mean, obviously, in different ways you can put one, but all the games you listed too, right, have a central source outside of mobile gaming. PUBG, popular on PC, later coming out on Xbox and PlayStation. You know, that was very successful. Call of Duty, all the same. One of the longest running FPS series of all time has been able to make bank over and over again every year. But with Candy Crush, they don't have that structure, right? They have almost nine years, I believe, or maybe 10 years worth of experience on mobile phones, but there's no franchising. There's no TSM players being repped for Candy Crush. There's no, there's no luminosity, no big names like that, right? I just feel like they. Ha I feel like the the developers have all the pieces they need. They have Activision and Blizzard, which I think is very interesting timing that they're coming out with this. Wow, there. Uh, there's other news going on with them outside of this, but they have all the pieces being put together. But they don't have the franchising. They don't necessarily have tournament organizers that we know about. And I think, given some of the screenshots I had seen and some of the maybe issues that happened with the UK tournament. I don't know what kind of infrastructure they're really trying to bring out. This might be more of a, a, a casual kind of tournament with a really nice, easy-to-produce grand prize for someone who's a really big fan of the game. And it's almost like Holly Khloe Kardashian's playing into that, right? She's an Instagram celebrity. Some of what she does is extremely manufactured, but having the vertical camera doesn't want to give that disguise away. It's, a, it's almost like a casual bridging between esports and like those people who may not be able to get into it otherwise. I guess different strokes for different folks. I totally agree with what you're saying. It's more of a casual thing. Uh, I just, I think for a company that size, for the amount of money they pull in, for the draw of Khloe Kardashian, uh, I, I think I was just underwhelmed. That's where all the money went. Everything. Yeah, that's where all the money went. <laughs> Max, thank you so much for everything, uh, your insight and your time. For everything else, esports, keep it locked in right here on iChinkin.